How to change a tyre. Step 1. You will need flathead screwdriver, spare tyre, socket spanner, car jack, jack handle, reflective triangle. You may also need gloves, fluorescent jacket, torch, and oil-based lubricant. There they are again. Step 2. Secure car. Try to ensure your car is parked away from traffic on a flat surface. Make sure that the handbrake is on and put it into first gear or park if you have an automatic car. If it's dark, you should put some lights on. You could also wear a fluorescent jacket to make yourself more visible to other motorists. And of course, you'll need your torch. Position the reflective triangle behind the car. Where this should go depends on the type of road that you're on. Position it in such a way that other drivers will be forewarned of your presence in good time. Step 3. Unpack equipment. The spare tyre and tools are kept under the carpet flooring in the boot of most cars. Check that the spare tyre is inflated and that there's nothing lodged in the treads. You should also check the treads. By law you are required to have a minimum of 1 16th of an inch for each tread. This can be measured using a penny like this. If you can see the whole head on the coin, then the tread is worn and no good. You will need a new tyre. This tyre is fine. You may want to take a car mat out to kneel on to change the tyre. It's more comfy. Step 4. Remove the hubcap. Use a flat-headed screwdriver to remove the hubcap and then lay it to one side. Step 5. Loosen wheel nuts. Fit the socket spanner over each wheel nut and turn anti-clockwise. If they are stiff, spray each wheel nut with an oil-based lubricant. Standing on the socket spanner will also help to give you extra leverage. You may have a locking nut, like this. This is to prevent your wheel being stolen. If you do, you will need to put a locking bolt over the top of your locking nut and then loosen with a socket spanner, as normal. Loosen the wheel nuts, but do not remove. If you remove the wheel nuts now, the wheel may fall off as you are jacking up the car. Make sure that you loosen them enough. They will be more difficult to loosen when the car is elevated. Step 6. Positioning the jack. You will need the jack to raise the car so you can remove the tyre. Firstly, find the jacking point. This differs from car to car, so use your user's manual to tell you where to find it. It's often found here. Watch out, if you attach the jack in the wrong place, it may go through the floor of the car when you start to elevate it. Also, if the car is parked on soft ground, place a board or carpet from the boot under the jack to prevent it sinking into the ground under the weight of the car. Once the jack is correctly positioned, under the jacking point, wind it up with your hand until contact is made. There. Step seven, raise car. The jack handle should hook through the end of the jack like this. Slowly turn the jack handle in a clockwise direction until the car tyre is well clear of the ground. Remember, leave enough clearance to allow for a fully inflated tyre to be put back in its place. For you, hot work. Step 8. Remove wheel nuts. Using the socket spanner and your hands, entirely remove the wheel nuts. Put the wheel nuts in a safe place, like the hubcap. Step nine, remove tire. Remove the wheel from the car and place it flat on the ground so that it doesn't roll away. Didn't mean that. Step 10, fit new tire. Put the new tire in place. Line up those bolts with those holes. Neat. Step 11. Replace wheel nuts. Use your hand and then the socket spanner to fit and tighten the wheel nuts. You will tighten them fully when the car is lowered. Step 12. Lower car. Turn the jack handle anti-clockwise. Remove the jack when the car is lowered and not before. Step 13. Tighten wheel nuts. Tighten each wheel nut with the socket spanner and your foot if necessary. Then replace the hubcap. 
keeping those nuts safe. Done. Don't forget that you will need to have the flat tire repaired or replaced as soon as possible. If you haven't used gloves, you'll have oil on your hands. To get it off, here's a tip. Squeeze some washing up liquid into the palm of one hand, add a teaspoon of sugar, and then rub your hands together. When the sugar is dissolved, rinse.